Lauren Kortz was certainly a hero to his family, his wife and his two kids, but he was making a difference in his five years with the Detroit Police Department. He had recently received a citation for arresting a murder suspect and finding the murder weapon. His death was senseless as we learn more about the young man who took his life. Jason Colthorpe is at the East Point Police Department where they know an awful lot about him, Jason. They do, Kim, uh, and police say 19-year-old Imani Davis may have wanted to die when he started shooting at police, and it could have be could be because of his recent run-ins with the law, and that included an imminent arrest from an outstanding warrant. Imani Davis was definitely on police's radar. His recent timeline of trouble starts January 4th, 2021 with an arrest in East Point for improper possession of a firearm in a vehicle. Davis got a year probation and paid a fine. Then May 30th of this year, East Point police responded but did not make an arrest. The charge is described in court documents as family offenses. A misdemeanor arrest warrant request was made and a source says it was approved and currently outstanding. Davis was arrested June 9th in East Point on three weapons allegations, including felony firearm in connection to a drive-by shooting. Then, Wednesday, July 6th, shots fired from a window above the Dejure Salon on Joy Road at a Dodge Caravan. After the Dodge speeds off, Detroit police show up minutes later investigating shots fired, and Officer Lauren Court's scout car is ambushed. Chief James White says court's partner Amanda Hutchins tried to save his life as the bullets continued flying. She makes the decision to give her partner a chance to live, keeping her back to the assailant. I've never seen anything like that. Officers shot and killed Davis as he came down the stairs and onto the street. He was without a doubt a hero. And you're going to hear that over and over and over again because it's important. We spend too much time talking about non-heroes. Court's father, who retired from DPD after 32 years on the job, echoed that same sentiment. Right now I'm trying to concentrate on his kids, you know, my grandkids, uh, the family, my wife. Now I know there's some confusion about Davis's past and the, that timeline. Let me try and clear it up a little bit. I spoke to Macomb County Prosecutor Pete Lucido tonight who said uh, regarding that drive-by shooting on June 9th, his office got the warrant request on June 22nd. It usually takes about 10 days to write up those and he said his office had not signed off on it yet simply because they needed to do more investigating. Specifically, they didn't have a witness tying Davis to the gun in that incident or pulling the trigger. However, they were able to take that gun off the street. Now on May 30th, that warrant request, Lucido says was never at his office, most likely because it was just a misdemeanor and had probably gone through the city of East Point. Kim? Well, I don't understand. Do we know why he hadn't been picked up yet on the outstanding warrant? We don't. We also don't know when it was issued, which is important because almost certainly it hadn't been issued by June 9th. Yeah. Uh, which was 10 days later, had it, the officers that were involved in investigating that drive-by would have known he had that outstanding warrant, would have been able to pick him up. Uh, but because it was just a misdemeanor, probably there was no urgency in, in apprehending him at yeah. that time, Kim. Yeah. All right, Jason, thank you.